Today's earthquake was centered off the southern coast, but felt by everyone on the island. We are in one of the hardest hit municipalities of Guanaca. You've got people still sleeping in the park behind me. Uh, in fact, we stopped by this home and we noticed this family of 11, which lives in this home. They have no power, they have no water, and they've been sleeping out in the yard since Tuesday. Sleeping with them is their 71-year-old grandmother, Rosa. She has end-stage Alzheimer's and she has been on this cot. She is sunburned, she is sweating, and she looks miserable. And they are desperate to find an ambulance that will evacuate her from here. A lot of the damage can be seen on social media. Uh, there is major damage, but there are no injuries or deaths to be reported. It's elderly people like Rosa who are most in need of services tonight. Uh, the government says it's doing everything that it can. Speaking of the government, the head of the power authority has evacuated a power plant along the southern coast. We visited that plant earlier in the week. Now all of the workers have been told to not report to work indefinitely for their own safety because the aftershocks continue. Uh, as Rena said, the governor has asked the president to sign a major disaster declaration if that happens. People here will get things like temporary housing, they'll get help with permanent housing, and they might get some peace of mind. Can you imagine living for the last 14 days with an earthquake happening several times every day? Back to you.